Hey, welcome to Fence Building 101. Uh, anyways, we have uh, started our fence project this summer on our ranch, and so far I put in about 2,000 feet of fencing. And uh, this is the first fence I've ever built. So a lot of research went into it and a lot of video watching on YouTube. And I've hit a problem that I haven't seen anybody talk about or at least um, put up a good uh, solution to, and that's the rocks that are underneath the soil or the kind of soil you're dealing with. And, and we're dealing with some very hard packed stuff. You can see this is a long fence. Even right here, you can see some of the rocks and the stuff that we've dealt with. But let me show you what we're dealing with over here. Um, we've already put these posts in right here and uh, they've gone in pretty easy. So this right here, to try and get you an understanding of what's going on underneath the ground. This is the topsoil right here. So we're dealing with about five inches, six inches of topsoil. And then you're hitting this stuff here. And uh, it's layered underground like this. So what we've done in the past when we're driving our stakes in is we've used these tools right here. After we've, we've got our motorized stake driver and uh, that's been helpful, but it doesn't, it's not powerful enough to break through that stuff. So then you run into the next solution, which is the old fashioned arm killer and then finally you use a sledgehammer and you can see that I've missed a few times but uh, overall that has taken a, uh, a lot of hard work so watching a video last night on uh, oil drilling and some other stuff not a video I was actually reading an article on oil drilling I it just kind of kind of occurred to me that maybe we should try something different today um, so I got out my drill and what I did on these other three posts is I went ahead and I drilled a hole down through the ground and what that does is it gives me a hole through the layers of rock and it gives the post which I've also I've also altered the post a little bit I took my grinder and I cut off so it's a tip as well so that's another tip that really <laughs> another tip um, but uh, but that really helps as well so I'm gonna drill the hole and you can kind of see hopefully my drill will, will, will go here um, battery starting to die but uh, you'll see kind of like what I'm dealing with Right there, it starts to hit the ground and it just kind of drives through each one. So that's one hole, and then I'm going to back away and I'm going to put another hole right here. It really doesn't want to go through. Whew. I'll do another one here. A little easier. Whew. That was the easiest one. And then here's the last one I'll do. Come on. All right. All right, so the purpose of that is, is so when I drill down this one, it can fracture these other two ways, providing a space for the, the the post to go into the ground. We're going to go ahead and drive it real quick here and uh, see how it goes. It might not go down super fast, but the point of it is I'm not using a sledgehammer and I'm not uh, using the pole driver. I'm using probably the weakest tool overall, although the most efficient in driving, but it actually gets the job done.
that. So I'm just telling you right now, that would have never happened had we not drilled those holes. We've been doing this, I've probably put in about 150 stakes or more uh, at this point, along with drilling holes for our wood posts. So I hope this helps somebody out there because uh, I'm at the tail end of my project and I wish I would have figured this out uh, about three months ago. All right, have a great night.